Beauty and as you probably know this is the channel to follow for Be More Chill content. I am part of the Squip Squad 5 Ambassadors for Be More Chill the musical in London at the other palace and in this video I will take Scott, Scott Folan who plays Jeremy here, the lead of Be More Chill the musical out for dinner and we're gonna have a chat about Be More Chill, about Jeremy and about Scott living his dreams because my channel is all about living your dreams. I'm currently working very hard on my dream to become a musical theatre performer myself and this is my channel all about musical theatre, drama school and now Be More Chill. So if you're into that kind of stuff make sure to subscribe and also check me out on Instagram. She lives her dream. But I'm gonna catch you in a second when I'm having dinner with Scott. Exciting. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll think I'll stop here. Uh, Same on back. Getting excited. Yeah. There we go. Right. Um hi. Tell us a bit about Jeremy. Um oh, this is the worst question. Oh, it's the best question. You ever. should be so, so used to this. Oh, no. I mean, you didn't go to drama school, so you're not used to writing no. character analysis. No, never that. done that, never done that. Ten questions. I have to mince. I love that. Yeah. So he didn't go to drama school. Ah, he was in Nativity 2, the movie, which oh, is yeah. wild. That was my first job. I can't believe it. I'm yeah, planning yeah. to go to drama school after this. I always say that, I always do say that. Um, I, I always say, when people say, like, have you, have you not been to I say, I haven't been yet. Yeah. Because, um, one thing I really, really want to do is train in Shakespeare. Yeah. Mm. Because I, I love it. it. Yeah. I've done it twice now. <laughs> I kind of, I, really, I used to hate it, and now I'm kind of just making it my thing. I right. went, wait, the burping or Shakespeare? The burping. <laughs> Shakespeare is great, I just did a three week thing at the Globe. Three four, four, the Globe too. So good, yeah. Um, See, that's my dream. That's my actually weird thing. Like, I, I do contemporary musicals and I do contemporary plays, but my dream is to do only because it's something I, can't, I now know I can't do. So you always set, I always set myself. Why can't you? You, you can. Probably. Like uh, yeah, but like it, it would take it would take some training. It would take some learning. Oh, yeah. I love learning. Anyway, who's Jeremy? Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy is uh, Jeremy is the the lead of Be More Chill. The story is about Jeremy. It's about uh, a boy called Jeremy. It's very good. It's very good. Um, a boy called Jeremy who is normal, smack bang in the middle of the social hierarchy. Which the is so good, yeah. Um, it's not like a loser, I hate to describe people like that, but this is like only, I'm only quite, he's not I'm quite in the show. He's not yeah. bottom of the pile. He's no. not like, but he's just smack bang in the middle. He has one friend, real friend. Um, but he doesn't want to be there. He wants to. He wants to come to the top. He wants to be the cool kid. He wants to get the girls. And and um, uh, and he gets the opportunity to do so. Um, whether it's a good or a bad thing, he goes through it. And the play and shoes. But he is um he is definitely a a, a scared kid. He's 16, 17. I would say that. Have you not decided? Listen, he's on the cusp. Of that. <laughs> Joe Trace doesn't talk. My acting tutors are like screaming right now. Yeah, yeah. He's, Sorry. Um, he's 17. I'm going to go 17 because oh. he's closer to my age. Um, and uh, and he, he just wants to be. He's so desperate to be everything that he's not. Great. Um, so, I mean, not great. But. No, he's not great. But, but it's, it's great that I know that and I've come to that conclusion in the last five minutes of talking about great my character. Great description, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure they're going to cut through this. Oh, I love it! I I'm love it! Five I'm going to leave five minutes of me Anyway, go let's go on to the next question. <laughs> My channel is all about living your dreams. What was yeah. um, yeah. performing always your dream? Or oh, when did you realise this was what you did? What was your first show you saw or did? Okay, so I, I actually have this story. That's great. Um, you I actually know something about yeah, myself. I know something about myself. This is really rare. Um, I feel so sorry for people who interview me. The cuts they have to do. Um, uh, so, uh, I actually, my dad, um, my dad was the, the lead singer of a rock band in Ireland. So that was always what I wanted. So I wanted to be a lead singer of a band or a solo artist, uh, musician. So that was always my thing. And then my mum 
uh, did opera. Mm -hmm. So she she was a performer. And she, uh, when when my parents met, you know, lead in a rock band and an opera singer, it was a weird mix. But they, they melted in the middle of the musical theatre and they found that together. And uh, so my mum started doing uh, amateur dramatics when she was bringing me up. Uh, and she she was in a production of Fiddle the Roof and she took me to a rehearsal. And uh, six, or six years old. Uh, and I. Uh, I was asked if I wanted to walk across the back with the, in a family and uh, apparently, I obviously don't remember this, but apparently I was so into it, I created a backstory for my character, I created the relationship, formed the relationship between these people um, and named, named him and walked across the back, oh no I didn't betray him, I'd like to, like, I'm going to find that out and I'm going to text it to you and you can put it on the bottom of the screen, um, right here, there you go, that's not right. I'll try, my mum might know. And, and, uh, so just make one up. <laughs> Greg, that's a horrific day. I mean, don't oh, go for it. A little boy had fit on the roof. And then, and then I, I went to a drama, she sent me to a drama school called Bowdoin's in the East Barnet. Um, was it like a afternoon, afternoon Yeah, like Sunday morning. Like yeah. uh, they were, honestly, great, I learned so much. Um, sorry, I'm turning the table with my knees. I am too. Um, and uh, and they, they actually represented me when they sent me off to an audition for Nitics 2. Okay. And I don't think they expected anyone to get it. I'm going to find you in it. Okay. Yeah, insert clip here. Yeah. Rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. For Jesus Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were born in this way. Um, and uh, and two, two of us got it, so me and my friend Eleanor, we got it, we were interviewed at 12 years old by the, the our local newspapers, um, and from that I then got, I got the National Theatre, which was my next gig, yeah. which was insane, um, and then I was the lead in a comedy centre in Concord at 15, so, so I was a, a I, I don't like this word. Someone, someone yeah. said to me that prolific child actor. I don't like this word. But I was a child actor, which is, I always say is the worst kind of That's actor. how you got here. That's how I got here. I got an agent um, just through luck, basically. <laughs> that um, is proper cool. Yeah, That's my cool. dream. Yeah. But I love the fact that you have this like, completely different journey. Oh, yeah. See, I wanted to go from If I could go back, I'd have gone that journey. Oh, yeah. Because I will always, always feel like I'm never quite as good as ever. Oh, no, no. Look, look at you. You're the lead. <laughs> but I, I spend the I spend this entire rehearsal process feeling, like, feeling just like I'm catching up. It's like the dancing is not my strength, okay. and obviously there's this quite big dance. I find, I love it because I mean I am not going the traditional route right now. Yeah. Um, and I will never be a dancer myself. Um, it just makes me feel hopeful that you can get here. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Not be able to dance and still still it's a very dancer yeah, show. Yeah. Got to, uh, Yes, I want to learn all of that. The beautiful children. Uh, beautiful children, I don't do much. <laughs> I just do a lot of like. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is my, this is Jeremy's thing. I made a decision early on. Oh, I that. His, he, so that's, that's, I don't know okay. why. I can tell you why. It just came, came to me. I'm uh, playing a character right now, Steve. Thanks. Love my, like, wedding ring. Brilliant, love it. Um, maybe Jeremy just really wants to get married to Christine. Oh. It's like, it's a subconscious nervous tick when you look at it. We just discovered and I'm looking at Miracle now. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, what would you tell people who are dreaming of a career in the arts? Oh my god, do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the best thing in the world. There's nothing better. I can tell you anything better. Um, there is nothing better than getting up on stage. But not even that. Ignore the performing bit and the, the people like, the amazing people come up to you and tell, and, and tell you they love the show and how to get to you. That's amazing. Oh, you want to especially, it's really effective. Oh my god, yeah. But so even forget it. The rehearsal process is my favourite thing in the world. Isn't You've it? been in a room with loads of people who love the same thing as you yeah. and are so passionate and talented and just make you want to be better because they're so good around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call out Millie so, O'Connor. Yeah. She is like a sensation. And she is one of those people you're in a room with and you go, oh my god, I want to be as good as her. So you just step up because she's constantly on that level of... That's so good! Yeah. I also Thank love you, the man. fact that you mentioned like, people who have the same passion as you because 
Oh, I was one of those early theatre kids, like, oh, we all. Yeah, 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 oh my god. Yeah. And, and if you, if you, I'm gonna say, if you are one now and you're in school. Oh, I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, don't stop it, one. Don't let anyone, because I did. I, I was one, and then I let That's people stop That's actually my next question. So this might Go be a bit complicated, Go but because the show's about squibs, and they have computers in your brain that tell you what to do. Yeah. What if you now were the squib of your younger self? What would you tell your younger self to do? Um, I would... Gee, um, I'd actually not give up on... on that sound really corny, and I'm alright. Not being myself, because mm. I am. Um, I hate saying this, but I was bullied quite horrendously, year seven to eleven, which is for anyone watching like age eleven to sixteen. Mm -hmm. um, it was. It was. I needed counselling. It was that I got to the point, um, and and I gave up who I wanted to be. I, I gave up because I was because that stops the bullying yeah, and I wish yeah. I hadn't done that yeah. because I would have found who I was I, I feel like I found who I am now but it took me the second 10 years I mean, you're only 20 now yeah oh I'm gonna so change good sure. job. but like it, it, it took me 10 years to to, um, to, find, to find who I wanted to be and accept that that's okay uh, and I, that's why I'm really connected to Jeremy yeah. um, and why I go home and I cry when I'm stuck losing it forever because it's it's like everything I wish I could have seen when I was 15 and 14 um, by now uh, because like it's, uh, it's not it's not it's not okay that people are, are made to feel like they can't be who they want to be and they can't be themselves because I was I was a perfectly it's taken a long time for me to accept that I was a perfectly okay person. I always felt like I was in the wrong when I was getting bullied and it was my fault. Um, and I felt like that's what Jeremy thinks, because he thinks it's his fault. Um, and that's why he, he longs to change, because he thinks if he changes, then Rich will stop beating them up. Yeah, um, yeah. And obviously, it's, it's and we've talked about either the in psychology, there's something about it, it's like negative. Negative reinforcement because the bullying then does stop. Okay, so he goes, oh, well, I'll do this more, and then he, that's how he gets to the point which he does the thing he does to Michael in the second act. Yeah. If you haven't seen the show, I'm not gonna. I haven't, and I've been listening to the cast recording so much, and I literally have no idea what actually happens in the second act. I can't wait. One more week, no less than that. So we're we're in tech at the moment. We've just hit the interval, so I've just done it's done my big number. And oh. it's amazing. Oh. No, I don't You've mean it's amazing. I mean the, the tech around me is amazing. Everything, yeah, I just saw the stage. The whole show is like, big. Oh. It's amazing. You've got your costumes too. You've got your Jeremy hair. Oh my god, Jeremy hair. Yeah. Do you all have your real hair? Uh, um, there are wigs. Yeah. Um, just, my hair just fell out of my mouth. Leave that in. I'm happy for you to leave that there. <laughs> Cut that off. Um, <laughs> definitely that. Um, <laughs> still in my mouth. <laughs> Worst thing worst. Um, yeah, there were some people with wigs, um, but they're, it's when they're not necessarily playing themselves. Oh, yeah. there, we all got one when we were cast, it was I got Jeremy and as cast. So I, I'm not actually playing as an but yeah, a lot of people just, are yeah. playing like a normal Or they challenge themselves, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or after, yeah, I'm sure. But yeah. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much for this. Thank, thank you for being. all You that. caught me in a, a deep moment, so I gave you a deep. I'm done as well. Can I do this? I've gone here. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, You're the first interviewer that's got deep scoff. That's really exciting. Oh, I love it. Everyone else has got. No, that's because I just did lose a gig whatever. I was heavily affected in the dressing room. I, yeah, I just, oh, I just love the show and the characters. So I, like, I can relate to them so much. Yeah. We were just talking about that with Miracle. Like, the love interest is not the pretty popular blonde. No. Oh, it's the theatre kid. It's the beautiful theatre kid yes. who is okay with being herself. Yeah. Um, and that's the most attractive yeah. thing about her. Yeah. So she's like accepted and okay with being herself. Oh, and it's that's so inspiring. It's a really beautiful thing. I find that so inspiring now. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Because oh. yeah. I'm older than you, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been great. Thank you for early on dinner. It's lovely. <laughs> great. Back at the other palace interview done. Oh my god, that was so 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 great. Scott was so funny and so cute. Oh. <sighs> Oh well, 
I love how you didn't take the traditional route to becoming a musical theatre performer. I find that very inspiring. And now, if you want more exclusive behind the scenes Be More Chill Squib Squad content, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you soon. Bye!